Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I'm Paul Katz, and I have the privilege of serving as dean of the Cooper Medical School of Rowan University. And um, we obviously have a few more people here than seats, but I hope everybody will be a little bit tolerant of us. This is a big day, and so many people deserve thanks. We're glad that all of you were here. To Governor Christie, to Governor Florio, Senator Sweeney, Senator Norcross, Mayor Redd, Mr. Norcross, Dr. Hushman, and Mr. Sheridan. To our public officials, the boards, leadership, and faculty of the Cooper Health System in Rowan University. To our educational and construction partners, to our donors to the 2012 Legacy Society, and to our distinguished guests. Welcome to our home. This is a wonderful day for the Cooper Medical School of Rowan University, for Rowan and the Cooper Health System, the city of Camden, the region, and the state. It was a mere 17 months ago that the first steel for this building was laid on the ground beneath us. And here we are today to celebrate another grand event, the opening of our medical school. There are many, many people to thank for all the contributions that led to today. We build upon the rich traditions, social missions, and commitment to the city and to the region of our two parent institutions, Cooper, celebrating its 125th anniversary, and Rowan University. The governor, the legislature, and our public officials have been unwavering in their support. Please know that we'll be equally unwavering in our commitment to the success, success of the medical school, to the revitalization of Camden, and to the health of the region and state. To the boards and leadership of Cooper and Rowan, your nurturing and fostering of our school have been essential, and we thank you for giving birth to this medical school. While the very recent history of creating a medical school in Camden began in the spring of 2009 when Governor Corzine signed the reorganization plan, our true origins trace back almost 40 years ago to the germination of the idea of bringing a medical school to southern New Jersey. In 1971, at the behest of Governor Cahill, a study was ordered to determine the feasibility of such a medical school. Hanging in our lobby, an article from the February 27, 1973 edition of the Courier Post recounts a story of a meeting that took place in Cherry Hill. At this meeting, those in attendance strongly endorsed the idea of bringing a medical school to southern New Jersey. Georgie e. Norcross, the father of the current chairman of the board of the Cooper Health System, was chosen to lead this group. This article now includes the household names of other members of the team. Assemblyman James J. Florio, Camden County Freeholder Director Alan Vogelson, and Dr. Louis Coriel, among others. The goal was not realized at that time. Instead, the medical center became a home to a two-year regional medical campus for the Robert Wood Johnson Medical School. That was some 30 years ago. But the desire for a four-year medical school in Camden continued to burn every bit as strongly as it did 40 years ago. That was until 2009 when the dream became a reality. Following Governor Corzine's action, work began on CMSRU, the work of creating the educational program and achieving accreditation, and the enormous task of building and planning a home for the school. Dr. Edward Viner, served as the first leader of Cooper Medical School, inaugurating its critical first steps. Dr. Viner's enduring commitment to the practice of medicine, to medical education, and to the city of Camden are well known to this audience. Ed, thank you for being the champion of this cause for so many years. Our Vice Dean, Dr. Annette Raboli, then became Interim Dean and led over 150 committed Rowan and Cooper faculty and staff who nurtured the development of our school. To them, we offer our sincerest gratitude for the essential work. The plan... The planning for this magnificent 200,000 square foot building began in earnest in 2009 and today represents the culmination of the efforts of many. To the Camden County Improvement Authority who oversaw this project, to HDR, our architects, to 
to Joseph Jingolian's son, our construction manager, to our prime contractors, the Bedwell Company, Falaska Mechanical, WPCS, and Dolan Construction, and to the 400 workers who worked on this building, thank you for getting us here, thank you for partnering with us, and thank you for bringing this very complicated project in on time and under budget. I also want to extend my personal gratitude to two of my colleagues who were part of the construction project since its inception and who contributed in ways that few can imagine. Art Winkler, a fixture in... <laughs> a fixture and legend at Cooper for so many years, continued his involvement and shepherded us to today despite his alleged retirement. To Dr. Valerie Weil, my Associate Dean for Finance Administration and Operations. <laughs> Valerie was the leader of this project and drove it to completion, and my heartfelt thanks to Valerie and for this remarkable accomplishment. But there is an important member of the construction team who is not with us today. Bill Upton, our first construction manager from Joseph Jingoli and Son, passed away during this project last August at age 52, much, much too soon. Bill's commitment to this building and his excitement about the opportunities that Cooper Medical School will bring to the region stayed with us through today. He was here with us every step. We are pleased to welcome Bill's wife, Patty, his children, Ryan and Megan, his sister, Deborah, and his mother, Betty, to this event. Patty, would you please come up and join me for a second? Patty, I want to present this to you. This is a picture of this beautiful new building. It says, to the Upton family, in memory of Bill and all that he made possible for medical education for generations to come, July 24, 2012. Thank you. Thank you. So While the lane of steel, pouring of concrete, and Herculean effort that went into finishing the medical education building were in progress, the less visible but equally vital work of creating the curriculum, selecting the inaugural class, and charting the course were ongoing. To the deans, faculty, and staff of the new medical school, to our community and educational partners, please relish this day. Please know that Cooper Medical School graduates will be recognized and known as a different kind of medical a physician. Technically excellent, but skilled in those competencies that separate the truly great physicians from all others. For your commitment to the revitalization of Camden and to the future of healthcare in the region, my gratitude and thank you on behalf of all those who will real realize the rewards of your effort. I would like